Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. Right, Berrettini, Matteo Berrettini, eh? What a win. Beating the number two seed in the Serbia Open, beating Karatsev, the number three seed, a man who has been, I mean, let's not go into how good Karatsev has been since Australian Open, but an unbelievable story, unbelievable run of form for the Russian. And he just carried it on, on this form, in this tournament as well. And before we get into the final, well, I haven't covered it, so I think it's only right that we do it. Karatsev versus Djokovic. I mean, what an upset that was, eh? Because Djokovic, the home favourite, I mean, it would have just been so upsetting for Djokovic. I think after he complained about being ill, lost in three gruelling sets as well to Karatsev. It was just grit and determination. Karatsev was superb, to be honest with you. Uh, Djokovic just got blown away towards the end, almost withered away at the end as well and it was really crazy to see look we know this isn't Djokovic's preferred service but to surface even but to play at home and to get beaten uh, by Karatsev I thought was surprising definitely uh, definitely surprising he would have been a favorite a big favorite going into this tournament but enough of that what I do want to say actually before I go on to the final is Aslan Karatsev he'll take a lot from that win I'll tell you that beating the world number one in Djokovic very good win, very impressive. And I do think that probably played a part into him feeling probably a little bit tired uh, the day after playing Matteo Berrettini. He ended up losing to Berrettini 6-1, uh, 3-6, 7-6. And Berrettini, I thought, was very, very impressive. And for me, you look at it and you just think, well, you know what? You guys have actually done extremely well. Now... I don't want, I'm not going to talk about this in great depth um, because I actually was watching the Nadal versus Sitspas uh, final in depth, so I know exactly what went on here. I have watched the, the match uh, Berrettini versus Kratzev since, and the one thing that I think really stands out to me is that both these guys are pretty strong on both wins. Kratzev, I think I've seen him, Berrettini as well. But on clay, they look quite comfortable as well. I think Kratzev at times... You know, his backhand is just super solid. And the forehand, he, he was finding these angles, these short angles on the forehand to hit winners at times and, and, and in positions which you wouldn't expect, which is really impressive. Uh, Matteo Berrettini just looks so solid. So solid. Big serving as well compared to Aslan Karatsev. And that was really impressive. And to win the tiebreak in the third, uh, seven love was a bit of a thrashing, to be fair. But I think he definitely looked the fresher. And it was a really impressive performance from the Italian. So something for him to take, I think, going forward into the French Open. Is he one of those crop amongst the teams, the, the Djokovic's, the Sitspas is just behind and Nadal in that chasing pack? Probably not. But I'm looking forward to seeing how he does, if he does play uh, Madrid and also Rome as well. And I think, especially Rome, when he's at home, maybe there's, that's too much pressure potentially. But I was really impressed with him. And I think he... You know, it's funny because when he made the ATP Tour World Finals last year, uh, well, it would be 2019 actually, sorry, a lot of people were like, oh, you're only in there because, you know, whoever's injured and you're not actually that good. And he didn't do very well there. He got, I think he didn't win a single match. Now, since then, I think there's been this, for me anyway, there's definitely been this perception that he's a good player, but he's not that good. Now, he's won this title here. And I think this is quite a big step forward. And you might say, well, why? Because actually, you know, he's beaten Karatsev as a number three seed. He was a number two seed. He hasn't really beaten anyone. But I think the fact that he won it and he was amongst a field of Djokovic and Karatsev is quite impressive. I think it's weird because Karatsev beat Djokovic, but I think Berrettini might take more from this. I think just to win here... It is going to, for him, be very, very big. And it's his fourth ATP title as well, that's winning the Belgrade title. And I do think he will take a lot from this. Um, yeah, I mean, his family was there as well to see him play, which is really good. Uh, and for me, you know, he'd just come back from injury as well. And to come back and then play at this level was really, really impressive. So super impressive stuff from Matteo Berrettini. Really looking forward to seeing how he does 
going forward now, especially in the French Open. I'm really intrigued to know how he's going to perform uh, in the French Open and also not just the French Open, but the you know the Masters tournaments coming up as well. That's going to be really, really interesting to see. Really impressive win for Berrettini and Karatsev as well. Very good run again. Once again, an incredible win against Novak Djokovic. What does Novak Djokovic need to do? Now, I had a lot of people saying that he needs to be more aggressive going forward on the clay, step in a bit more, be more proactive on the clay. Let's see. He tries to dictate more with his forehand, more than he's ever done in his career. He's been more aggressive in his career nowadays than he ever has been. But on the clay, we know, as I said, it's not his preferred surface. I would say it's the least favorite surface out of the four, or three even, sorry. Let's see anyway. Let's see. I think there's still a long way to go. Still quite a few, well, two big ATP 1000 tournaments to go. And I'm looking forward to seeing how they shape up. Okay, thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Please do remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone's support. Please click the notification bell as well to get alerted to all the new videos. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys on the next video. And yeah, I'm looking forward. I will probably be doing some live streams for some of those ATP Tour, uh, ATP Thousand Masters, can't speak, ATP Masters tournaments in uh, Madrid and Rome. But otherwise, if not, I will definitely be doing day by day reviews for the French Open and live streams for that as well. Okay, thank you very much, guys, and see you on the next video. Thank you.